Hi, I'm Leon Poindexter, and we're here today at the Gloucester Marine Railways. And uh, as you can see, we've started uh, coppering the, uh, the bottom of the beaver here. Uh, John's up there, he's getting ready to put another sheet on. First we have to tar it, and then we're going to put felt over that. And uh, right now he's just finishing filling the seam and getting ready to put another sheet on. Uh, the reason we're doing this copper is to protect the vessel from uh, worms. Uh, this was a major problem in uh, vessels. Uh, at the Torito worm is a ferocious little critter and will eat right through the, uh, the hull. It goes in as a, about the size of a mechanical pencil lead. And once it's inside the wood, it grows to a diameter of about a quarter of an inch and can be from uh, three to five inches long and travels longwise within the, uh, the plank and completely destroys the plank. This uh, system was developed in about the early 1700s. Uh, the Royal Navy first began experimenting with sheathing the bottoms of the ships with lead, with sheet lead, and they fastened with iron nails. Well, the problem with that was the, the lead kept falling off. And so they figured out that copper would work better. And then once they learned a little bit about electrolysis, they began to fasten it with bronze nails and that system seemed to work quite well. By the end of the 1700s, which is the period that we're in, they were starting to use uh, copper uh, quite extensively on, uh, on merchant ships as well. This is the typical sheet of copper that's going on the beaver. Uh, we purchased the copper from Paul Revere uh, Copper Company, and uh, the company was started by Paul Revere back in 1810, and uh, he converted one of his uh, gunpowder mills into a rolling mill uh, for making copper. This was the first such industry in the, uh, in the colonies after we got our independence from England. The copper would be held on by these bronze ring nails. There's going to be over 20,000 of them. And the pattern for punching the, uh, the copper uh, we got from an actual copper punching machine that was uh, at the Bath uh, Maritime Museum. And from that de we developed a uh, pattern and generally the pattern goes that you have uh, cross uh, rows of uh, nails going this way and this way and then it's ringed around the side by nails on two inch centers and so when that goes on the boat the next uh, sheet will overlap this other edge and it gets lined up almost like brickwork with one piece overlapping the other one. In our previous episodes you saw us uh, putting on the uh, caulking. And uh, so now what John has done, he's put tar on the side of the vessel uh, over the caulk seams and on top of that goes a layer of felt. It's just plain 30-pound uh, roofer's felt. And then over that will be the copper. We'll nail the copper on over that. And uh, this will, will form a barrier against worms that is absolutely 100% effective and should be good for uh, probably up to 20 years. Well, it seems logical that when we put the uh, copper sheets on we start at the water line and we make everything parallel with the water line. But with the shape of the boat it just doesn't work out that way. So what we have to do is we, we determine a line on the below the turn of the bilge which is called the gore line. And then we start to bring the copper up from there. And this will be actually a straight line but as it bends around the boat, as you can see up in here, it's going to go above the water line. And in those cases, we have to cut a piece to fit up to that water line. It would be a triangular shape. And of course, we don't waste any copper at all. That piece is going to become another triangular shape somewhere else on the boat. Well, we just got started on this yesterday. As you can see, we're, we're kind of moving along here. Uh, We'll start this belt here, we'll go all the way aft with it, and then we'll start up and then work our way down, also from the keel up. So this whole process is going to take uh, a couple of weeks or so, and uh, so look at us next time, and uh, we should have a lot more copper on by then, and should be looking pretty nice.